light of a, a recent interview that came out earlier this week with Nolan from Elite Co. 3. He got me in the mood for another sub. So I got an SGC sub in late last week. And um, yeah, I want to walk through it with you. It was a good one. It's a good mix of modern and vintage. So I think you'll like it. Let's go ahead and flip the timer here. Um, and let's have some fun. We'll walk through some of these. A couple of these I think are, are pretty good cards to consider adding to your strategy for certain players and i'll tell you why here in a second so let's start with uh we'll start with some golf we don't do that very often phil mickelson rookie 2002 upper deck and uh there's there's two versions of this one there's the base and then there's the silver you can tell by the lettering silver is a little bit more difficult to find so an sgc9 on that found that in a recent collection so excited to add that one in um, 2021 Panini Prestige, the Heroes. I'm a big fan of the Heroes. This is the Extra Points Gold, number to 99. Lamar Jackson, SGC 975. Card out of that Prestige set. There's a couple other uh, inserts I like. The Drip inserts, a, a tough one to find. We got the DeAndre Hopkins to 95, and nailed Tom Brady. SGC 10. It's a slick card. Um, hard to beat that coloring too. Lined up pretty well with the, with the Buccaneers. A couple more from Prestige. Justin Herbert Heroes Blue, number 249. SGC 9. This rookie's pretty good. Mac Jones Red Premium, extra points, number 299. SGC 10. Big in that. That's good. And then last prestige, the gold premium number to 99. Good looking card in hand for sure. You can kind of see that reflection. It's got a it's got a really nice look to it. SGC 9-5. Um matches pretty well too. Uh, okay, a couple authenticated cards uh, that surprised me. This one did not surprise me. This came out. I cracked this out of a BGS authenticated case. T two hundred six Cy Young bare hands showing. It just looked great. I mean, <laughs> obviously it's T two hundred six of Cy Young. Hard to beat that. But something's wrong with it. I think there was, there was some miscut or altered or something but it's authenticated in the SGC slab which I am happy with this is what I wanted uh, this one this one befuddled me 1958 tops and mantle um, I cracked that out of a BGS um, it was a BGS three and a half I think I should have had those notes in front of me but it came back authenticated so something SGC caught something there It happens. 96, 97, Bowman's Best. I cracked this out of a BGS 8.5. I thought it was a 9. It looked really good. Surface looks, the surface looked great to me. Uh, so I thought I had a shot. SGC 9 came back. Authenticated. So I don't know if this is one of those sets that I don't, I don't know about with SGC. If they find issue with this one. There was no notes in my order. So I'll need to figure that out. Um. I've been on the Ichiro run. I've been trying to grab as many Ichiros as I can, as well as Albert Pujols, which you'll see here in a second, 2001. Uh, Ichiro's a few years away from Hall of Fame, so I'm trying to snag some stuff. In the 2001 top set, you had the base, which there's about 3,300 in the PSA uh, pop report graded. Then you had the HTA, the home team advantage, and they're, they're notified there with that little gold stamp. These were sets you could buy as a TOPS member back in 2001. Uh, kind of like the Montgomery Club now. Uh, and there's there's only 180 of these graded at PSA total. Obviously, these are SGC here, but uh, they're hard. I guess my point is they're hard to find. And it's a sneaky way to, to kind of jump into some, some Ichiros with a, a much lower print run. The limited edition, which were the Tiffany of 2001, there's 80 of those in the PSA pop report. So just 
You got 80 of the of the Tiffany's. You have 180 of the HTAs, and you have 3,300 of the regular. So these are sneaky good ways to jump in to some scarcity for each row for reasonable prices. And that came back a 9.5. I pulled that out of a set that I purchased. Some of you might remember uh, a box that we opened from the one and a half million card collection. And that was 92, 93 Tops Archives. Pulled two Jordans out of that. One came back a 9.5. One came back a nine. So two pretty decent cards came out of that, that box. Also did find in that collection in 2009-10 Jordan Legacy Collection, the 86 Fleer reprint. Um, it's a reprint, but still, still a good card. Was surprised to see this come back a six. You win some, you lose some. All right, I sent in three Jeter SPs this order. I've been trying to get some of these in. Uh, two sevens and an authenticated. So this one, they, they caught something in it. And again, these are coming out of collection buys. So I don't know the history of some of these. They're not pack poles. So it could have been tampered with. And it's a risky run. But two sevens, not, not awful grades on the Jeter SPs. So that's, uh, that's six or seven that I've sent in the last couple months. The highest that I've received is an eight. Um, take it. All right, so, uh, some vintage here. 55 tops, Ernie Banks. Back in SGC4. Big one here. I had this down as a, a three. Back a three and a half. 54 Bowman, Ted Williams. Such a great card. My card. Centering was was good enough for me, for sure. Corners were bad. Back was decent, except for that little stain there. I am happy with a three and a half. Absolutely happy. All right, second year Clemente, 56 tops three. I had this down as a two and a half. So, we'll take it. I had it down as a two and a half because of the back, yeah. Back was pretty nasty to me. Regardless, there's a card I was going to sub, so. Uh, 56 tops. Jackie Robinson, three and a half. That is a grade that I'll take as well. So it's getting some grades that I really like. Yeah, that looks good. It's the right back. Hmm. Okay, we got a... 66 tops mantle three. That down is a four and a half. Oof, what did I miss on this? Not quite sure. This one actually looked pretty good. Sometimes you can't see some surface stuff, and I, oh, I missed something. Or did I? 67 tops mantle three. I had this one down as a four and a half as well. Uh, centering was not not awful on this. And that was a corner issue in the top left. Uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to see some of these come back as threes, and you see the 56 come back a three and a half, and it's got stains all over it. So, I mean, I, I get each set's graded a little differently. But I got to start getting a handle on the, the mid-60s cards a little bit better. Obviously, massively off-center card here. Feller, three and a half. That looks great. Such a great card. Uh, okay, 59 tops, three and a half. Another one that I had as a four and a half. I had, I had three mantles as four and a halves. And they all come back as three and a half sort of lower. I don't know how this is only a three and a half. So a little bit of a surprising Mickey Mantle run there. I mean, I know they're grading mantles tough. But this is a good looking card. I do not get that. Sixty one. Tops mantle four. Down's a three and a half because of centering, so I'll take that. In the corner. Uh, this will work. 
on this. I uh, had this down as a three. This is the surface. Comes back a four. The 1956 grayback Mickey Mantle. Love it. Love it, love it. 57 tops. Aaron. SCC 3. I cracked that out of a BGS 5. It's down to SGC 3. One of those that I probably shouldn't have cracked. But either way, I'm okay with it being in the SGC Ducks. Okay. Um, I'll save this one for last here. Some pool holses. I've been trying to sneak in some pool holses in almost every order right now. 2001 Top Stars pool holes. Uh, BGS 9, or BGS, SGC 9.5. We've got the Leafs, Leaf Rookie and Stars, number 205, Rookie, number 9. 2001 Tops Chrome. Rules, SGC 9.5. Good. Crack that out of a GAI case. Doesn't one Bowman gold. SGC 9.5. It's good. And then uh, one that I'm really excited about. I've, had a, I've got a couple of these. Doesn't one Donner's Elite. Pujols. Turn of the century auto. These are numbered to a thousand. This one was in a it was in a BGS slab. It was in a just six and really only because of this corner here which you can't really tell but I thought man there's no way that's worth four being in at four and uh, got an SGC 8 with a 10 auto really excited about that outstanding card Pujols run continues alright so there you go Go check out Nolan's uh, interview, Elite Code 3. Hopefully you enjoy this. If you like these, let me know. Put comments below, and I can keep doing more of these subs. Uh, otherwise, have yourself an amazing weekend. See you soon.